Hi, I'm Rowana from Zeebman Development and today I'm going to show you how to import data from Funraise into Razor's Edge using Importacular. When you first open the Importacular plugin, you'll see all of the available data sources in this window here. If you double click on the Funraise logo, you'll be able to specify the date from which you wish to import your data from. So I'll set this back and click OK and we can see Importacular starting to bring in the data. And we can see for this time period that I have 10 records for review. The next step is to create my mapping template. So I'll click the green plus to create a new template and we'll need to give this a name and save. And now we can see this is Importacular and all the different areas where we're able to build mapping templates to bring data into Razor's Edge from Funraise. The first area we need to cover is the constituents area. So I'll click here to add a new mapping. I'll choose individual constituent type. And then we can see here all of the different Razor's Edge fields within the constituent area. And the next column along we've got all of the different source field names. So if I click on one of the drop downs here, we can see this is all of the data from Funraise that we're able to bring across to Razor's Edge if we wish. The only fields that I need to map are the required fields. So we can see down here that surname is a required field. So I'll click the drop down and I'll map my Razor's Edge surname field to the last name field within Funraise. I also need to give my mapping a name, so I'll call this constituent here. I can map any of the other fields that I wish. And I can see here that where the naming convention is identical, so where Razor's Edge field first name and Funraise field is first name, Importacular has automatically mapped those fields accordingly. So once we're happy with everything, we can click to save this area. And next I'll move along to my addresses tab. So I'm going to add a new mapping here for my mailing addresses. And again, I'll map address one in Razor's Edge to address one in Funraise. We could see city and country have already been mapped for me. And now if I go across here to the field settings and I double click into the field settings for the country field, I'm going to add a custom change or a data transformation because I know that from my source, from Funraise, that America is listed as USA, but I know that for the data to go into Razor's Edge, it needs to be listed as United States. So I'm going to transform anything that comes from my, my source as USA into United States before it goes into Razor's Edge. And I will save that here. And if we scroll down, check for any required fields, we can see down here that address type is a required field. And rather than mapping that directly to a fundraise field, I am going to give that the default value here of home address. And I'll save that mapping. I'm also going to add a new email mapping here under the addresses area. So I will map the phone number field to the email field and then phone type. I'll give a default value of email and save. And then the last mapping I'm going to create here before we go ahead and try to import our data is a gifts mapping. So if we click to add new mapping here and we will give that a name and we can see that under the gift mapping there are quite a few required fields. Some of which have automatically been mapped for me but I need to make sure that there are values against all of the required fields. So we'll map date here to donation date and I need to enter a fund here. And then if I continue to scroll down this list, just making sure that everything is mapped. And then once I'm happy with everything, I can click to save my mapping. So once I've got my different areas, my mapping set up, I will save and close my template. And then the next thing that I need to do is to add a control report, which is simply an Excel file in case of any errors 
these can get written into the control report. We also have the option to create a Razor's Edge query for any new or updated constituents or any exceptions as well. And now I'll click continue and it will take me onto my data review screen. So we can see here in the top half of the data review screen, we've got all of our records that we are planning to update. And under action to take, we can see whether these are updates to existing records. So if we take Mark Adamson's record, for example, in the bottom half of the data review screen here, we can see that Importacular has found a match for this constituent. So rather than creating a new Mark Adamson, it's suggesting that we update the existing one. Next down, I've got a decide. So Importacular has found a record for David Ziedman, but it's not entirely sure if it's an exact match. So rather than simply saying that the action to take is to update, it is asking me to decide whether I want to create a new one, whether I want to update an existing one, or whether I'm not sure or I want to ignore this record or come back to it. So I will opt for the latter. And then moving down here, we can see some new records to be created. And then in the case here of Stephen Dunlop, we're creating a new record for him. And then from the grid match symbols here, we can see that there's a few different lines of data against Stephen. So once we've created the new record for him, Importacular will then process the additional lines as updates to this original record here. So once I'm happy with everything here, I can click to validate my data. So at this point, nothing is going to go into Razor's Edge. Importacular is just validating before it imports. And we can see here an import summary. So there'll be three new records created, six updates, one ignored record, and nine gifts to be added to the batch. So if I'm happy with that, then I can uncheck the validate only, and I'll see that the button now says that I can import. So I shall click to import this data. And we can see that all of that has now been processed. If we come out of this, and we go into constituents here, and let's open one of the records that I created. So we can see here the new record which I created for myself has now gone into Importacular, but my gifts haven't gone through yet because those are still in my batch and need to be committed. So if we go across to the batch now, and we open this up, we can see here are my nine gifts. So I'm going to click to commit those. And I can see here's the batch commit control report, which I'll now get rid of. And we'll go back into my record here. And if we open the gifts tab, we can now see that that gift has been added to the record also. So that is how to import data from Fundraise into Razor's Edge using Importacular.